This past Friday, Hiller's varsity football played their senior night game versus Westwood. After forcing a Westwood punt on the first drive of the game, the Hillers found the end zone. Five receiver set, three to his right, takes the snap, looks to his right, and now is going to throw to his right, has a target, it's caught by Keefe, up the far sideline he goes to the 30, all the way to about the 20 yard line, Brian Keefe, a big gain for the Hillers on their very first offensive snap. Out of the pistol this time, Mulvaney to his right, two receivers spread out to his right as well. He'll take the snap, hands it off, Mulvaney up the middle, first down, and the end zone! Touchdown, Hillers! An 11-yard touchdown run by Cam Mulvaney, and just like that, it's 6-0 Hopkinton. An 11-yard touchdown run by Cam Mulvaney. Westwood responded on the following drive. Maroon, receivers in tight along the right side, takes the snap, rolls to his right, under pressure, throws up field, has a target, and it's caught at the five to the end zone, and I think he might have got in. Yes, he did. Wow. Grady Mahoney on the reception. A 39-yard touchdown for Westwood. A 39-yard touchdown reception thrown by Connor Danielli to senior Grady Mahoney. It remained a 7-7 game until the second quarter. Make it second and one from the 46. Out of the gun, takes the snap, rolls to his right, looks upfield, throws upfield, and it is caught at the Hillers' 10-yard line. What a catch by Aiden O'Connor, and what a throw by Danielli. That was After forcing a Hillers punt, Westwood found the end zone early in the second quarter. Danielli is gonna go out of the gun once again. Maroon the back to his left, two receivers in tight to either side. Takes the snap, looks to his left, throws to his left, has a target, and it is caught for the touchdown. Grady Mahoney on the four-yard touchdown reception. And that's his second touchdown reception of the game. He had a 39-yard touchdown reception to make it a 6-6 six to six game at the time. Brendan Dunnigan connects with Grady Mahoney once again on a four-yard touchdown pass. The extra point makes it a 14-7 Westwood lead. After the Westwood touchdown, the Hillers would score 35 unanswered points. Up to the line they go. And it looks like they got Lisher in there as the quarterback once again. And he will take the snap, looks to, looks up field, has Salyards and it's caught! 40 midfield into Westwood territory, 30, 20, 10, see you later, touchdown, Hillers! And that, a 75 yard touchdown reception! And that one's not coming back. Right, or excuse me, 85 yard touchdown it, reception. It, 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 My math was off there. Ah, math, math. <laughs> well, luckily we've got a full time accountant here, so. That's right. The first touchdown in the 35 unanswered point run, an 85-yard connection. Sophomore Robert Lisher finds Cole Salyards on a little trick play. Extra point makes it 14 to 14. Salyards gonna line it up out of the gun. Mulvaney the back to his left. A four receiver set, two spread out to either side. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. He'll go to Mulvaney. Up the middle he goes, 30, 25, over to the 20, cutting to the near side, 15, 10, staying on his feet inside the five, and did he get in? Just a little bit short, but what a run by Cam Olvaney. He'd be out there to finish this off. We shall see. Out of the gun is Salyards. Mulvaney getting the call up the middle. In he goes. Touchdown, Hillers. And then a one-yard touchdown run by Cam Mulvaney, and the extra point makes it 21 to 14. Rune in the backfield. The snap is high. The ball gets away. Who got it? It looks like the Hillers did. And recovering the fumble was Aiden Morin. That's over three minutes. If the score plays. And Salyard's going to keep this up the middle. And working inside the five. Still on his feet. Pushing the pile. Can he get there? Still on his feet. He just won't go down. And it looks like he finally will at around the two. Here's more and more beyond the trees. Salyards out of the gun, a motion right to left, and he is going to take it himself up the middle into the end zone. Cole Salyards, a one-yard touchdown run. A one-yard keeper by Cole Salyards, and the extra point makes it 28-14. And 
And uh, that is Salyards out there. Five receiver set, three to his left. Throws up field as a target, and it's caught, and he's gone. Touchdown, Illers. Nicholas Sessi, a 43-yard touchdown reception. A 43-yard connection between Salyards and Nick Lassessi. Plus, the extra point makes it a 35-14 game. That's how the score stayed until the halftime break. A 28-point second quarter for the Hillers. The Hillers pick it right back up in the third quarter. Takes the snap, and he's going to take it right up the middle. Bounces off tackle. Up the left side he goes. The 20, the 10, the 5. Into the end zone for the touchdown. A 33-yard touchdown run by Cole Salyards. Hillers led 42-21 to heading into the fourth quarter. Hillers continuing a drive that started in the third quarter with three minutes and three seconds left. Ends at 9.59 left in the fourth with a four-yard touchdown run by sophomore Wyatt Stevens. To his left, two receivers spread out to either side. He will take the snap, and here he goes up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Hillers! A four-yard touchdown run by Wyatt Stevens. The Hillers would take the game in dominant fashion by a final score of 48 to 29. The Hillers improved a two and two overall on the season with the win. Prior to the game, the Hillers celebrated senior night. Check out the festivities on the game broadcast on our YouTube page.